we, Gage and I, are involved in a very uh, highly publicized lawsuit with the surrogate who helped us bring our baby girl into the world. Um, I will say that, you know, this the first... What happens when something like this happens, you're immediately told by everyone to keep quiet and you're not, right. you can't say your side of the story. And I think what's unfortunate about that is when you are quiet, then people automatically assume you're guilty. And I will say in this particular case, that is not true. Yeah. And unfortunately, unless I am to file some sort of cross complaint, you don't get to hear my side of the that story. Is true. And yeah. my account and Gage account, uh, account of the events is very different than what has been publicized. What is really, really difficult to wrap your head around is that on one hand, I could not be more grateful to this woman right. who helped me bring right. this baby yeah. into the world. And this morning, um, I, I was, I, I love, Fridays are tough for me because my favorite part of the day is waking up to our baby and right. you know going in and changing her diaper. Gage does the diaper, I assist. And then, but but my favorite part yeah. is I feed her her bottle, and that's yeah. our bonding time. Right. And this morning, uh, she woke up early, and I went in there, and she went, "Hi, Dad, Dad," and she's now see? starting to talk, see? and she's now Aww. starting to put words together. Yeah, and. Um, I just, first of all, I looked at her and I said, you were the most expensive child in the world, <laughs> <laughs> number one. But then I thought to myself, you know, I would go through this, and we are going through hell, by the way. Right, I'm sure. I would go through this a hundred times over, again and again and again, to have yeah. this kid in my life.